Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky. Whoa. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the tone. 
Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Lands a big right hand early. Knee to the body. Oh, big left hook there. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Edwards. Oh, slips the offering there and then rips back at the target. Boom! That was a nice play. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the look. Full on mixed martial arts. Yes, he can do it all. He's a fantastic striker. A guy that can mix it up. A guy that... And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. I need you to be active on the ground now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Kamaru Usman. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Us. All right, side control now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Edwards. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Usman's back in full mount. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. One minute to go in the round. Five seconds to go here in round one. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 15 seconds. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. When you're Back and forth we go. And they separate. Big cut lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, here we go with the start of our second okay, round. round Leon Edwards. 
Let's and go. that man, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Big ball from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Huge shot there. Oh, big left. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Let this fight do the talking means he's all business. He's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets his title fight. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice shot to the body there. Stuff's beautiful takedown land. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Us. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by him. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patch. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru Luce. Under two minutes to go. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Usman's has got full mount now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Under a minute to go. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Edwards. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Good, solid strike on the ground. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. 
Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Right there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. Ready? Ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice loop at once. A lot of power on display from Kamal Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamal Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Well, a single collar tie here. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Usman's back inside control here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kamal Usman. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. If you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Slams the right hand. Well, that combination's going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Usman. The ground and pound has been there all night. Usman's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back on the way. Getting close to some record totals here, DC. More than 225 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Landing with 64% accuracy against Leon Edwards. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big kick land. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Wow. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Looking for a guillotine. to the guillotine there, get side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Oven St. Pru has got to like that transition there. Bottom fighter trying to control him. Submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Edwards. 
Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Usman. Able to land the single ground strike there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Put the pressure on. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. He loaded up on his right hand, too. Dig and kick. Just missed with the elbow there. Right hand on point. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Edwards. Oh, a single collar tie there. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Big kick land. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Edwards. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffed with a fantastic takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Edwards. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Good work from the top here by Usman. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Kamaru Usman. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? 
Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Close guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hit the escape. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Under a minute now to go. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Under a minute to go in round four. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Seconds remaining in round four. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Usman. Stop, stop. He beat you that last round. He's winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And let him think this thing. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the cardio. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. Beautiful punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Usman's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big leg kick land. Got the single collar tie. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this division. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very... Oh, can't do that in soccer, but it's allowed here. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, great foot sweep right there. Got to the clinch, started manipulating the body, and the moment his opponent took a misstep, boom, tripped him right over the top. Great job. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Alright, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. Now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the fight that is the fight. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kamaru Lusman. The referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great 
stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 55 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. So he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you got to take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight. And you got to take your hat off to him for staying focused for so long and getting it done.